Well, it looks like Fairfax County Police are about to get more aggressive when it comes to enforcing the noise ordinance. Stephen Cuda is at the County Government Center where local citizens are sounding off right now on a new noise ordinance plan. Stephen. Candace, the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors appears to be moving quickly to pass this measure to get it on the books before revelers crank up the volume at those holiday parties. Jackpot makes his presence known, but real soon, dog owners across Fairfax County may be on the lookout for muzzles. I don't know how I'm going to stop them from barking. For years, complaints about noisy dogs and leaf blowers didn't lead to any citations in Fairfax County. Back in 2009, the state Supreme Court ruled laws like the county's are too vague. The police are not enforcing the current ordinance. But now the Board of Supervisors is expected to get tougher. Bob Cook worries about Jackpot's future. I think they're going a little bit too far. It's kind of stupid, actually. I mean, it's like putting a leash on a cat. A lot of county residents say something has to be done, though, about noise. Intermittently, the dogs will bark anywhere from 15 minutes to last night, four hours. The proposed changes to the noise ordinance essentially deem sounds such as horns honking, a criminal violation. If it's so loud, you can hear it through a closed door or window. Somebody is practicing the tuba in the middle of the night, That's and you hear it in your house, that I think is okay. The board is expected to vote on this measure tonight. Now, if it passes, uh, violation of the noise ordinance would be a class three misdemeanor. That most likely would result in a ticket and a fine. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News. Okay.